Hello? Welcome to Banana World. April Lambros has filed yet another lawsuit against Diddy, this time number seven. Lambros accuses Diddy of repeatedly forcing himself on her, including a time when he coerced her into having an affair with Kim Porter while he enjoyed the experience. The allegations also suggest that Diddy used Jennifer Lopez as a tool to humiliate Kim and that she was extremely envious of Kim. According to Lambros, Diddy had unrestricted access to Kim at all times, regardless of whether he was with Jennifer Lopez. Neither Kim nor Diddy ever stopped dealing with him. Lambros also asserts that Diddy had a strict policy with her. Honestly, I wouldn't want to be Diddy's publicist or legal representative right now, given the way things are going for him. April, Diddy's newest accuser, claims they met in 1984 when she was a student at the Fashion Institute of Technology in New York City. She claims Diddy promised to mentor her and connect her with people in the industry, but instead he became aggressive and coercive after initially showering her with gifts and flowers. This is Diddy's seventh lawsuit. Similar to April, Crystal Mackin filed a federal lawsuit against Diddy in 2003, alleging that he forcibly kissed her after they met at a Men's Fashion Week event in New York City, but Diddy dismissed the lawsuit. In her lawsuit, April details four instances where Diddy behaved in an abusive manner toward her. The first incident occurred in 1995, after they met at a New York City bar. April claims that Diddy coerced her into drinking alcohol, and she felt uneasy after a few sips. After that, Diddy led her to a car and left her there. At a hotel, April was still sick, and while she was lying on the bed, Diddy allegedly kissed her forcefully, grabbed her face, and undressed her, disregarding her pleas for him to stop. The lawsuit included an image of a note that came with flowers, and April said that even four months after the incident, Diddy kept sending her gifts cards and flowers in an effort to get her to return. Diddy sent her for Valentine's Day. She said she agreed to meet with Diddy to discuss business opportunities and give him a second chance, but they were leaving his apartment for dinner when the second incident occurred in 1995. According to the suit, they were on their way to the parking garage when Diddy forced her onto her knees, then he unzipped his pants and forced her to perform a BJ. Allegedly, after the second encounter, Diddy became angry, threatening, and full forceful and refused April's decision to distance herself by threatening to physically harm her and blacklist her across the fashion industry. Basically, April was saying that she was forced to maintain a relationship with Diddy or face the consequences. In another incident, she said Diddy told her he missed her when they ran into each other at an event, and he called her for days after she refused to leave with him. She said she reluctantly agreed to invite Diddy to her apartment to hear what he had to say, and he arrived with a security guard who was sitting in the stairwell during the interaction. April says that Diddy grabbed her and forced himself on her kissing and touching her without her consent. She then says she fought him off enough to reach her door and ask him to leave. Okay, now, before this incident, April also described a different encounter that involved Kim Porter, alleging that she was at Diddy's apartment in Manhattan with Kim after they had returned from a nightclub, and Diddy told both of them to open their mouths and forced ecstasy down their throat. Then he forced them to hook Kay up as he watched and got off from watching in Kim and April, and it didn't stop there for Diddy because after forcing the two ladies to hook up April adds that Diddy proceeded to force himself on her. Now, I don't know if Kim was still there when Diddy proceeded to force himself on April, but the Amount of disrespect Kim endured in her home is just crazy. I mean, even the things Cola Booth recently said about Kim are beginning to make sense. Cola was talking about how Cassie let herself be flaunted in. Kim's face and laughed at how Diddy was treating Kim in her own home. She even said that she will never forget the time Kim told her, her that Diddy tried to make her lick Cassie's tampon. In addition, she talked about one time at 400 in the morning when Diddy brought Cassie who was basically a teenager into his bedroom where Kim was sleeping and woke up Kim and told her to get out of the bed so Cassie could get in as it turns out Diddy was actually flaunting other women other than Cassie and Kim's friend. Ace, including April. And this had been happening for years. In fact, even J-Lo was one of these women. And Gene Deal recently revealed that Jennifer Lopez was always jealous of Kim. He spilled this when he was talking to Tissa about how Diddy always had access to Kim, regardless of whether they were together or not. He had access to Kim, no matter if he was with her or not all the time. He never lost access to Kim. He never gave Kim up, or Kim never stopped dealing with him, and he had she had open-door Polly, 
C.I. with him at all times, really. Yeah, even even when he was with J.Lo. So because Diddy always kept the door open for Kim. J.Lo reportedly got jealous, and Gene even said that at one time J.Lo tried to bribe him into telling her what was going on between Diddy and Kim. Well, we now all know what was happening, and there was even a time when Gene Deal said that when Diddy was with J.Lo, he would often leave J.Lo in the house to go look for Kim B., and, um, even when he was with J.Lo, like, we'll put J.Lo in the how. See, and he'll call, and Kim wouldn't answer, and if she was out, he would ask the babysitter. You know, do you know where she at? Well, she said she was going to be here because she had Kristen at the time, you know what I mean? So now we're going where Kim is at. And if she was with somebody, he made it very uncomfortable for that person to be with using the bodyguard. Given everything we know about Diddy, does anyone really believe that any woman has managed to escape his wrath? I mean, consider it. I suppose I would be envious if my husband abandoned me in the house to pursue another woman. What we still don't know is whether J-Lo went through the same thing that Kim and Cassie did. Misa Hilton was still in high school when she and Diddy began their romantic relationship. Similarly, Kim and Puffy began dating after Kim moved into Misa's house. It's important to remember that Diddy was involved with several other women, some of whom have filed lawsuits against him. It looks like all these women went through the same things, and Diddy was somebody who never changed his stripes and he manipulated all these women and pitted them against each other for his benefit. In fact, April said in her lawsuit that around the time of her final encounter with Diddy, he was in a very public relationship with Jennifer Lopez. Okay, anyone else? April says about Kim is that Kim and Diddy got her fired from a bar after Kim saw her working there according to the suit Kim called April's manager and falsely accused her of trying to poison her in a move that April believes was retaliation, then she said that years after cutting ties with Diddy, she learned that Diddy was alleged to have recorded them without her knowledge and showed the recordings to others, in fact, in 20,123, her boyfriend was the one who told her that someone had seen a video odd. Nine of her and Diddy will. This issue of Diddy having recordings is also not surprising because, in almost all the lawsuits his accusers have said, that Diddy recorded them. And at this point, it's like everything just ties everything else together. Honey Cassie, in other news, released a statement in which she essentially expressed her joy at the increased number of individuals sharing their tales. In an Instagram post, she thanked her family, friends, strangers, and everyone else who has shown them love and support. I still haven't met the people whose overwhelming affection has given my younger self a safe haven to call home, but this is just the start. DV is the problem. As Cassie pointed out, this is likely just the beginning for Diddy. In the meantime, I would love to hear your thoughts on the things Diddy caused Kim to go through. Do you think there's enough to reopen that case? Like and subscribe my channel for more videos.